Are you being held back by the people around you? Let's find out. Hey guys and welcome back to Tiffero. And in this episode I want to talk a bit about the importance of the environment and people that you're around from each day to day and how those affect your chances of success in you know health, wealth and all areas of life. So this is something that on the surface is common sense knowledge. The people that you hang around with affect the way that you think, affect the things that you do. But a lot of people don't realise just how important this is. People understand the idea that, okay, if, you know, all the people they know happen to be, you know, criminals who have just come out of prison and uh, aren't doing well for themselves, that it's likely that they're also not going to be doing well for themselves. But they don't make the association that it also works the other way. Now, what I mean by this is that if you want to actually succeed and you want to be, you know, wealthy, you want to be... Uh, really good at a particular sport, for example, you want to be amazing with a particular instrument, you need to surround yourself with people who already have that or with people who are at a similar level of skill to you or just a bit above it. This is why we have mentors and spiritual guides and, you know, counsellors and stuff like that. It's because, you know, sometimes you can't find that person on the street. You know, if you want to be a wealthy businessman and you live in a lower class area where, you know, there's no there's no one that you know that even has the money that you have, perhaps. Maybe you have more than everyone else. Then how are you going to surround yourself with wealthy businessmen? And the answer to that is to, you know, find mentors. You know, it can be a book. It can be a book written by a wealthy businessman that you read each day. It can be, you know, people on YouTube giving financial advice, for example. It can be, uh, you know, you can reach out to contacts in your family that perhaps are a bit better off than you. The point is, if you change the people that you're with from day to day, you're changing a part of yourself, because yourself isn't just your internal world of your mind and your body and your spirit and all of that. Yourself is also your environment, the place you live, the places that you go to eat, uh, the place you work, and the people that you surround yourself with. Now, by changing this and by ensuring that you have lots of positive influences, lots of positive people in your life that are bringing you up rather than taking you down, then you're going to have a much easier time succeeding. You see, this is the thing, you know, I mean, you see it all the time, you see these wealthy people who have, you know, millions and millions, and suddenly they lose it all, and yet, you know, a month later, somehow they've got all this money back, you know, they might not be millions, but it might be, you know, a hundred thousand, how have they got that? Well, the fact is, one, they know how to maintain that status because they've been there, they've done the methods, they know how to make that money. But the other thing is they're surrounded by lots of contacts. They have, you know, other people that they can uh, propose a business deal to. They have someone that they can loan some money from. They have someone uh, that they can partner up with. And so when they go to zero, they're not really at zero because they still have the wealth of all the contacts and the people around them. They have the wealth of their environment. And this is the point that I'm trying to raise here, is that we need to actually look not just at ourselves, but also improve the environment around us. Now, this doesn't mean, you know, oh, if your friends aren't, you know, as well off as you'd like to be, or aren't as healthy as you'd like to be, or whatever, that you should just ditch them. No, the point is to also get new people in, to basically, to add to your existing environment with new people that are like how you would like to be in the future. And then those people will start influencing you because, for example, you know, you'll talk to them about things that are related to that. Whereas someone who doesn't have much money isn't going to be talking about financial things with you. If you start making friends with people who are wealthier than you, they're going to be talking about things like, you know, trading on the stock market, things like this, and you might learn from them and you might be able to get some ideas yourself for where to get started. So, what about these? What about finding these people and that? How's the best way to do that? Well, one of the things is to actually look at the physical environments that you go to. You know, if your only place for hanging out is at the bar, you're going to find people who go there to drink, to have fun and that. And you might, you know, meet some people from all different backgrounds, but it's a particular climate at a bar. If you want to find, you know, someone that you want to make a business deal with, or you want to find uh, someone to teach you, I don't know, horse riding or something, you don't go to a bar looking for them, you go to the place where that person will be found. So, you know, if your ideal, you know, career is something in finance, then you want to start actually going to places where these people congregate. You know, I mean, even if it means, you know, just 
heading up to uh, into an actual business, for example, and doing interviews or something like that, or offering you know to volunteer at a company, the connections that you make there will help bolster your success and will help give you more opportunities so that you can grow yourself. And if you can't find someone nearby to you that you can actually meet in the real world, then look to you know mentors online and the likes of that. I mean, this is part of why I make this. I want to be one of those influencers on people that is helping them move in the right direction. And the point is to surround yourself not just with one influence like that. If you're, if you're watching my videos to learn how to be more successful, to learn how to make your dreams a reality, then great. But don't just watch only my videos. You know, you need to be learning from other sources as well. You need to be reading good books. You need to be uh, listening to all sorts of people talk about different things. And the thing is, everyone has an area of expertise. Like, I can tell you a lot of things, but for example, I can't tell you what stocks to buy. I can't tell you that. That's not something I'm an expert in. So, you know, if you want to learn about that, then you need to go to someone else. And the point is to surround yourself by, like, a boardroom full of experts and these experts they can be people that you know in the real world that are experts or they can be people that you look up to online check out you know their advice make sure it resonates with you don't just you know take someone's word for it make sure that you actually feel comfortable believing what they're telling you and surround yourself with lots of these people that are motivating you that are inspiring you that are giving you good ideas for how you can improve yourself and you'll find that your life improves in all areas. I mean, even me making this channel is due to the inspiration that I received from mentors of my own, both mentors in the real world and mentors that are just people that I've watched online or people that I've read books from. I mean, uh, I mean, I can give you even a good book right, right now. If I mentioned financial things. If you like financial things, then I highly recommend any of Napoleon Hill's books. You know, Think and Grow Rich, Outwitting the Devil. He writes some really good stuff. Uh, if you're interested in the mind and the power of, you know, imagination and the power of visualization, then Neville Goddard writes some really good books. And there's so many great people that you can learn from and that you can be inspired by. Don't just surround yourself only with your social friends, because the thing is, there are friends that you enjoy being with just to socialize, but there are also contacts that you need in your life that are bringing you up in some way. You know, you need a maybe if you want to be really strong and you want to work out lots you could do with having a fitness instructor. Yes, uh, if your friends also work out lots and they know all about that, then you can just train with them. You don't need the instructor. But if you don't have anyone in your life that knows anything about fitness, then introducing an expert, introducing a fitness instructor can help, you know, propel your success forward. So yeah, that's just been my little message reminding you guys to have lots of mentors and lots of experts in your life and make sure that there are always sources of, in your life of inspiration and of new information that's helping you move in a good direction. Don't just surround yourself with people that are at your level or that are below your level. Surround yourself with a mix of people that you enjoy spending time with just for fun and an amount of people that are pushing you forward and pushing you towards your dreams. So that's been all for this quick video and I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you take the message to heart and you know you check out some uh, great sources of information. I'll perhaps share a few sources down in the comments below. Maybe you could set, share some of your own. If you've found someone that's really inspirational to you, who, who's inspired you towards success? Share, share that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear. Anyway, if you liked the video and you want more similar content, remember to subscribe up there because we've got regular videos coming out every Wednesday, Saturday and occasionally some others. If you have any comments or you want to share who's inspired you, leave that down in the comments below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to keep watching, check out the video up there. Take care, guys.